I be getting to the money. Everybody mad. I think I'm getting too much money. Everybody mad. Welcome back. Oh, what's up? So today I have a start to finish customization lace wig tutorial for you guys. So this is going to be a piece of work. So today the wig that we're working with is Tiana Taylor inspired ombre tight curly Brazilian virgin here. Clueless lace front wig. Pretty long name, right? Yes. This is 20 inches long. It is 100% Brazilian as I mentioned before. It's of a natural color at the top and it's tightly curled and as you can see it's blonde at the bottom. It's a glueless lace front wig cap. It's 150% in density and it's of a medium brown lace color and yes the, the knots are definitely bleached. So right here was a shiny wig as you can see and um, this wig let me tell you there is no no pre-plucking took place with this at all. So I have a lot of work on my hands with this one. And um, the ombre portion is a little bit too definite for me. So I'm going to try to tweak that a bit. So right here I just pretty much jumped on into starting the whole tweezing process. And this was the main focus. This and you know tweaking the blonde ombre portion of the wig. Because, yeah, those were pretty much the two things I wanted to change. I really love the curl pattern. So, as you can see, I was tweezing away here. And what I pretty much did was I went behind, like, the front front, like, the hairline itself a bit and just tweezed randomly. And now I've been, twee I've been well, customizing frontals or lace front wigs for a while now. So, it's like, I don't know, it's it has become a little bit more easy for me to do. Look at the difference here, guys. Look at at that that listen to to um tweeze the front of this lace wig took me like an hour usually i don't take that long unless you want to wear this as like a half wig you don't necessarily have to pluck because it you could just put it behind your natural hairline but if you choose to cover up everything then yeah this is all the hair that came from the front that's a lot right yeah this is what we're working with i'm pretty pleased so far and then now I'm going to move on to the ombre portion. Now, as I said, you can see the definite line and I kind of wanted to, you know, go in between that. So I'm going to take this bowl, my gloves, um, that brush applicator, my 20 volume Clairol developer and my basic white from Clairol and mix everything together. We're going to use it to add a smoother looking transition between the, between the dark brown and the blonde. If you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm not necessarily trying to change the, the blonde portion. I'm just trying to get a little um, better graduation going on between the two. So they kind of look like, you know, they're bleeding into each other effortlessly. Rather than like chop, one big chop, you know. So that's all I was doing here. And it didn't, it didn't take me too long. Um, it didn't take too long as it can. So I didn't even cover it with foil or anything. And I just let that sit for like um, 10 to 15 minutes. And I proceeded to wash it out afterwards. So this is what we're working with after it's washed out. You know, much better, right? You can definitely see the darker brown and everything is kind of bleeding into each other. A little bit better, you know. Not as harsh as before. So I'm going to take my Shea Moisture Mist here. I'm going to put the specific name in the description box. And this is, I love using this in my curly slash wavy wigs. You know, it really, you know, just makes or helps the curls to pop more. Yeah. And then I, I proceeded to apply the wig to my head afterwards. I used my Got To Be Gel to secure it, of course. I didn't get to show that portion, but that's what I used. Now I'm using some more Got To Be Gel on the edges here. That's all I'm doing here. And after doing this, I pretty much just proceeded to um, tying down the front and I then moved on to just you know using some of my mousse to further you know, make the curls pop a little more I always like using my mousse as well it really helps to keep the um, curls looking juicy and defined I really love that about using the mousse so and that one that one was from soft sheen Carson trust me it was definitely popping really really love I really do love getting curly wigs it's like my favorite type of wigs to get period 
really do love curly wigs um yeah so that's how it's looking pretty pleased pretty pleased and i then moved on to doing my makeup i definitely do have a tutorial for this stay tuned it should be my next upload yeah but look at these edges guys right i really love how everything came together absolutely pretty i really really love it let me know your thoughts in the comment section I will definitely put all the specifications in the description box. As usual, if you're interested in this or any other wig I've ever worn, go ahead and um, click on my direct link. It's the first one in the description box. Oh, by the way, here I used some of my face powder to just make the parting there a little bit more visible and clean. Yes, super, super simple. Yeah, so go ahead and click that link in my description box and it will take you to that page. You can shop for this or any other wig and use my codes sue 15 and petite 10 four dollars off guys that's it for this tutorial today i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumb up and i'll see you in my next video so stay tuned for this makeup look and until then bye